this is one of those videos where I just had to push the record button because thinking about this, it was getting overwhelming, but we're going to get through this. I'm going to show you the challenge and then talk about a couple of things. Then I'm going to walk through my solution. I'm not going to do it live because there's too many moving parts, too much going on. I'm going to leave you a link to the workbook and you can go through it if you want to. Here, Iranian Dr. Excel posted this challenge on LinkedIn. He's got this list of data and then a list of delimiters and then the answer he wants. He wants everything split out by the different types of delimiters. I thought this would be pretty straightforward and it is, you know, the way that this is set up. But I was thinking, what if this was more real world and you needed a dynamic solution and not just a one and done where you would repeat, replace values three times and move on. Here's what I'm working with. Got all of these names, all these different delimiters and the result needs to have all of the names split out. Last night, I almost drove to Iran because I was so upset. I'm like the, the gall of this person to post a challenge like this that had me tied up for three days. Yep. I actually got in my car and started it and then thought, I'm too sleepy to be driving all the way to Iran tonight. And I got stuff to do the next day. So I decided to stay home and be mellow. Let's get into it. Got data. Queries and connections. It took these queries to get through this. Let's look at the first one. Double click it. Here's the source query. All of the data just brought in. Then I added a custom column. What is this custom column doing? It is removing all letters and everything that is not a delimiter. See, text.remove. And then this is what's needed to make a list of lists. So lowercase a dot dot, lowercase d, both in double quotes, that is a list, all right? This formula is removing everything that is not a delimiter and notice that a with the sign over the top, I needed that because one of the names in here, Joao, I needed that removed because that is not a delimiter. Okay, cancel out. Remove all the columns so that I just have the remove letters column. Split column by position. Let's look at that. Split repeatedly by the number of characters, one, and split into rows. Change type step is automatic. Then I removed duplicates. So now I just have one pipe symbol, one ampersand. Okay. Rename the column and then added a custom column. Watch this. I just want a double asterisk in that column because that's what I want to replace all of the other delimiters by so that at the end I can split by double asterisk cancel out the next query table one two here's the source data i added an index column i'm doing this in anticipation of something crazy that i'm about to do i reordered the columns split column by position look at that and then add an index column now see Here's the deal. Let's say a friend owes you a thousand dollars and it start getting funny. Stop answering the phone, stop responding to text messages or emails. Try small claims court and they hide from the subpoena. This is where you gotta think, you gotta be great. You go and rent an elephant. And you drive, you ride the elephant right through this person's front door. 
friends, kids are screaming, running all over the place. They don't know what the hell is going on. But when that elephant is in the living room, your friend is going to find that money. So here is the riding the elephant through the front door move. I split every character into a row. That index column, make sure that I can get everything back where it was. Index dot one, that is in anticipation of doing a pivot don't aggregate. And in order to pivot, we need something going across the top. That's what it's going to be. Now, the header count. This starts with a merge between table one, two and Delhi. We match up the column ones, do a left outer join, cancel, and then I expand Delhi. All right, now watch. This is some hogwash, and I almost said something that was, you know, starts with a B and ends with a T. I almost said it. All right, watch this. I've expanded the query, and look at this. I've got one eight two nine three this stuff is out of order but i dealt with that in another step so right now i'm going to add a conditional column so wherever there is a comma an ampersand it gets replaced by the double asterisk and then i sort the rows to get everything back in order now we got ambrose again beautiful Remove columns and then do the pivot. Don't aggregate. Check this out. Boom. Pivot. Don't aggregate. Now, everything that was in row one is in row one, but every character is in its own cell. Now I'm getting ready to merge every column, but I don't need the index column merged. So I get rid of the index column. Remove that and then here add a custom column. This is code that I found from exceltown.com. I will leave you a link to that web page. But this will merge every column. Let's go all the way to the end and see that's what it added. Then I remove other columns so that I am left with that. Add an index column. Reorder the columns, split the columns into rows by the double asterisk. Then I filter out to get rid of these spaces. Group rows. That's how the index is going to help. Let's look at that. Group by the index. Get a count of the rows. This is going to help because I need that in anticipation of splitting later okay cancel that then i sort rows because i really need the greatest value here remove all the columns keep the first row then there's that change type step and then i do a right click and drill down that's how i have just a six right there and this is the header count query now i need the header names started the source with a blank query and i just needed one two whatever that header count value is right now it's a six then convert that to a table then i add a custom column which just says name merge them remove other columns and then turn this into a list. Boom. We're almost there. Here's the final query. And I have to do a lot of steps over again because I need a different result. 
that last time I needed to get to that six. This is the real deal, the final deal. Starts out with that merge. And then I filtered out spaces and then expanded the deli or delimiters query. Add a conditional column. Wherever there's that comma or a pipe symbol, we have the double asterisk. Sort rows to get back. I don't know why that does that. Okay, then I, in anticipation of this merge. All right, so now I've got that. Pivot column, don't aggregate. Remove the index column. And then I'm gonna do that merge of every column. Remove other columns. There it is, everything is merged. Add the index column, reorder the columns. Split column by delimiter. And this is showing us Celia and Gregor are in row four. Emil down to KC are in row five. In anticipation of doing the uh, pivot don't aggregate, we need the index. Pivot the columns. Look at that. Ambrose, Jeannie Garfield are all on row one. Remove column, add a custom column. There again, merge all of the columns. Remove other columns, there we are. There was some little piddly stuff to clean up, but it was fine to do it at the end as its own step that was to replace values. And then split column by delimiter. But I have to show you one thing. Let's detour. I'm gonna close this. Here I have some cities data and it needed to be split out. Easy to do. Split by comma space. But there's the problem. Look at this. I'm gonna add Orlando right there. Let's go up here. Havana, Tokyo, data, refresh, it picked up Orlando, it did not get Havana and Tokyo, let's look at that, queries and connections, double click here, there's the split column by delimiter, go to advanced, and notice that hard-coded four right there. That's the problem and I don't understand why this is because if we split into rows, that doesn't care if our list grows or shrinks, but somehow splitting into columns, it gets stuck. Now, if I go and change this to six, okay, boom. Now we've got those extra cities and we can close and load. That was one obstacle to getting that previous challenge to work. <laughs>'tn't exist right now in the current queries. We've got the tilde and the dollar sign and then I'm going to go for a seventh column and add another name. Charles. You got to take a deep breath. Get ready to refresh. 1 2 3 Boom. Charles, Nice, Zeke, the tilde, dollar signs didn't matter. This is truly dynamic. This was a lot, and I hope you got something out of this. You're gonna get to download the workbook if you want to. And I'm gonna remind you, sometimes a solution is elegant, clever, 
and sometimes you just gotta ride an elephant right through the front door.